What's up, everybody? I hope everyone is having a good day. I hope everyone's taking care of themselves, getting plenty of exercise, getting plenty of nutrition. I hope everyone's finding time to get into the studio and get creative on this Sunday. We're going to jump right into it again today. It is my distinct pleasure to help the community introduce Pro Tools 2020.11. I think it's a big deal. You know, you guys might be nerds like me. You guys might not be. At any rate, I'm pretty excited about it because it introduces dark mode, which is not on the screen right now. <laughs> I, I switched it back over to classic mode to show you that if you're a fan of classic mode, that there's nothing, there's no change whatsoever. You can go right back. You can look at your session. It looks exactly the same as it did before. I know because I just worked on this song last night and I can tell you it's exactly the same. There's no change. But if you want to switch it to dark mode, we're going to jump right into it and show you how. Okay. You're going to go to Pro Tools, Preferences. Okay. Display, UI theme. We're going to change it to dark. You're going to see a message that pops up. It says, please restart Pro Tools for the UI theme change to take effect. Okay. So we're going to do that right now. Do, 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 do. Anyway, do it. Do it. All right, so let's get ready to unveil the dark mode. Oh, this looks um, just beyond beautiful. Just beyond beautiful. Um, I mean, look at it. And what, what I can tell you, just, you know, my first reaction is that they've taken all the negative space, all the sort of dead white, what normally would be white space, and have just made it dark which is exactly what you want in a dark mode, right? And then they've taken all the color elements and they're kind of darker, darker versions of the colors. And so it, it reminds me of other, you know, of course the, you know, the dark mode and sort of other um, DAWs that are out there, right? But then, right, coming in here to the actual audio, what have they done? They've concentrated the light on the audio, you know? So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Well done guys. And this is, um, you know, it's, this is the, one of the most highly requested, highly, you know, sort of griped about or what, you know, whatnot features of Pro Tools. This is the, one of the most requested features out there, you know, um, this is exactly what, what I was wanting <laughs> with a dark mode, you know, it's something I've been, I've been wanting to see in Pro Tools for a while. So it's nice to finally see it come to life. This is going to be my default mode for sure. And I was just working on this last night. Look at these colors. Look at these colors. People. My goodness. That's what they've done, right? They've taken the dark side and just applied the dark side to all of um, all the white space on the screen. And then the, the, the most concentrated light on the screen is the audio itself. So if you need to jump in, if you need to look at something real large, you know, you can, uh, you can dig in. And it's, it's lit up, you know? Um, I like the nice flat look to all the buttons as well. I mean, I, all the little UI changes up here, up top, don't go unnoticed. It's, um, it's awesome. I'm loving it. All the, all the plug-in windows, you know, everything. Good stuff. I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. And we're working on a new track. And so I, wa I wanted to keep this really short and sweet. Um, you know, this is the brand new <clears throat> dark mode. And, um, there's another new feature as well that is pretty, I would say it's, it's really cool. It's to highlight it. And that's the fact that Melodyne Essentials, uh, now comes standard with Pro Tools. Um, I will say that it does require a little bit of setup and you basically just got to go to your account. Um, so if you jump into your, um, into your product section and your account section in Avid, you'll see uh, a Melodyne Essential section. You'll see 
pitch and time shifting for perfect vocals, Melodyne Essential is included with your Pro Tools product. You can use the code below to activate Melodyne Essential. Activation instructions can be found here. And you click on that, <clears throat> that brings you to Dees page, which is on the Avid Knowledge Base. Melodyne plugin licensing just published today. And, um, that, right, that's today, right? Yeah, pretty sure. 12. Yep, today. And, uh, basically, what you need to do is in Pro Tools, okay, so instantiate Melodyne or perform an audio to MIDI operation, then choose activate in the resulting dialog. So easy enough. So we're going to do an audio to MIDI. I'm going to do a little recording. I'm going to do it after my song over here. It's not going to affect anything I'm listening to, but let's just do a little recording real quick. Uh... Uh... There's some audio. Let's listen to it back. Uh, all right, nothing fancy, right? But just to illustrate, uh, I'm gonna create an instrument track. Uh, an audio to MIDI operation you can perform <clears throat> on an instrument track directly by dragging audio into an instrument track. That's where you would uh, have MIDI. Typically, audio to MIDI, right? So the idea here is we're creating MIDI notes from an audio signal, which is really super cool when you think about it. It has tons of use. If you think about you need to um, re-instrument, sort of retrack an instrument using a different instrument, and you can easily grab some audio and turn it into a MIDI file, which you can then run contact or any sort of instrument on and, and re-instrument a sound in a way. Uh, or do something like this, just sing into it and then maybe create some MIDI. Um, so I'm going to take this instrument track, which is very obviously a MIDI track. I'm going to drag this into it and let's see. Okay. Melodyne is required for this operation. Pro Tools detected. Melodyne is installed, but not activated. Once Melodyne is activated, Pro Tools will need to be relaunched. Fair enough. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But I at least wanted to go through this, at least on video, um, for anyone that's new to this or needs to set this up or wants to set this up and use this in Pro Tools, this is a really cool thing, I think. So let's go activate. <clears throat> Obviously, I'll need to uh, restart Pro Tools in order to get this going. All right, so activation was successful, and I'm just going to uh, close down Pro Tools. As it says, we got to restart in order for that to work. So I'm going to close this down, restart, and then we'll take a look at the audio to MIDI feature. All right, so we're going to jump right back into Pro Tools, and we are taking a look at the audio to MIDI function. So now I've restarted and um, done everything that Pro Tools has instructed, put in my Melodyne serial number, activated Melodyne. So now I have Melodyne Auto-Tune Essentials, and I'm gonna use that as a function to turn this audio track I just recorded. Let's listen back again. Uh... Nothing special, but it, it hopefully will work. Maybe I need to put some separation in between those notes. We're about to see. There should be a few options that we can choose from. So if we drag this down into an instrument track, which I now have contact running on, I see a dialog box come up. I can consolidate clips. I don't need to do that because I'm not, you know, dragging in multiple clips here, but it's nice to see that that is an option. Um, there's a number of different modes in here. I'm going to go with melodic. Um, and you can obviously try these out in different ways and kind of get the way that works best, perhaps for the, for the type of audio that you're trying to capture. So let's see how this translates. That's, that's pretty damn close. Let's listen to both of them together. Uh... That's actually perfect because it's highlighting that I was fucked up there. That I actually pitched right here, and I can see that I pitched right there. Uh, uh, I was just trying to hold a steady note, uh, but I pitched right there, and I can see that I pitched because uh, obviously Melodyne caught it, and Contact is playing it back to me. Uh, uh, but you can see even a continuous stream of notes. That's so freaking cool. 
That is freaking cool. So anyway, I wanted to keep this video short and sweet and highlight some of the best uh, new features inside of Pro Tools. I can already say some of my favorite stuff right here has just come out right here with this release. So um, I know there's a ton of exciting other news uh, with regard to Pro Tools and Carbon. I might do another video about that because that introduces a whole new set of possibilities that I now need to consider. I'm upgrading my studio in the near future and I need to figure out the best way to do that, right? So that could be new computer, could be new DSP servers and all sorts of stuff. And there's all sorts of stuff I need to consider. Maybe you guys comment what your thoughts are, what you would do if you had to invest in new equipment where you might think that would go. Um, that might be an interesting conversation to start. But at any rate, um, I hope that the Pro Tools community enjoys this video. Um, I certainly enjoyed making it and uh, just looking at brand new Pro Tools features in general. Uh, we'll take us out with listening to a little bit of a new song that I'm working on. Uh, it is my pleasure to play a little bit of this for you. It is my genuine pleasure to um, introduce new Pro Tools functionality to the community. And uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Until next time.